The Progressive Liberal Party's chairman, the Honorable Fred Mitchell, responding to the criticism from the Freeport Licensee Association. In part, the statement also shared concerns about unclear fees and a perceived lack of consultation on the Hawksburg Creek Agreement. We go live now to our Rumiko Knowles, who spoke with the party chairman. Rumiko. Progressive Liberal Party Chairman the Honorable Fred Mitchell has a long-standing reputation for speaking out on matters in Freeport, and this time around was no exception. Approximately 24 hours ago, two press releases were issued, one by the Grand Bahama Port Authority and the other by the Freeport Licensing Association concerning the Prime Minister's address at the GB Chamber business meeting. In response, the Honorable Fred Mitchell says he found those releases to be completely unnecessary. I asked why he felt this way, and this was his response. The Bahamas Chamber of Commerce invited the Prime Minister to come to speak to their meeting, uh, which included the business community. Um, and I gather the Grand Maha Port Authority shareholder was present as well to, to simply outline what the government's position was and is. And that's what the Prime Minister did. PLP Chairman the Honorable Fred Mitchell addressing the FLA's criticisms, stating that the Prime Minister's address clearly outlines the government's stance on the dispute with the Grand Bahama Port Authority. He refuted claims by the FLA, particularly regarding the clarity of fees owed to the government by the GBPA and the perceived bias in the Prime Minister's representation of historical events. Is there no inaccuracies in it? The history is what it is. Um, the position is what it is. And the Grand Bahama Port Authority has one simple thing to do, is to respond to the legal position. And that's not a matter for argument in the public. Mitchell expressed disappointment suggesting that the Freeport Licensee Association's response may be politically motivated to derail the government's policies on the matter. This organization which calls itself the Licensees Association, and nobody knows what standing they have, who these members are, what they are. I mean, it just seems like a group of people got together to do this but none of them have the responsibilities that the government has. And they need to understand that. And the best thing for them to do is to draw back from the, this uh, public posturing. He also hinted at mounting questions regarding the identity of those behind the FLA's press release. I got a, uh, a note from a businessman uh, this morning who said, look, I have several licenses. I'm a big businessman at Grand Bahama. I don't know who this Freeport Licensees Association is. And I'm not a member. I've not been asked to join, so they can't speak for me. Interestingly, while the FLA's statement echoed the Prime Minister's call to break the chains holding back Grand Bahamas development through collaboration rather than arbitration, Mitchell pointed out that this alone may indicate the source behind the release. That's a pure Grand Bahama Port Authority lie. Their line is the government is holding up the progress of the city, when in fact the evidence is the only people that are driving the city forward is the government. Now, I did try to reach out to members of the Freeport Licensing Association. However, the calls were not returned up to news time. This is a story that we will continue to follow. For the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Ramiko Knowles. Back to you in studio.